my name is Kristen Consalvo. I am a graduate student in the Gomer Lab. My research project is studying eukaryotic chemorepulsion, which is why eukaryotic cells run away from a certain chemical signal. And in studying this, I found sex differences and how human neutrophils respond to stimuli. So that has been an unexpected side project. Uh, the hope with these projects is that we can move a potential therapeutic for neutrophil diseases where they accumulate either in the lungs or in a joint and apply a chemorepellent, so a substance that makes those cells run away, forcing them out of the area where they're no longer causing a benefit, they're instead causing a harm. All right, now for some questions on my grad experience. Let's see what the first one is. What advice would you give a new graduate student? So, my biggest piece of advice to new incoming graduate students is, A, you should know how to study. That was one thing I had to learn in undergrad and that was a hard lesson to learn. Once you know how to study, then you can focus on the next biggest piece, which is how to manage your time effectively. I told myself in my first year with having classes, doing rotations in uh, potential labs that I was going to join, and also teaching, TAing for the department, that if I wasn't doing something, I was probably forgetting something. So know how to learn, know how you learn in particular. I know that people have heard this a million times, but it's really true. If you know how to learn, if you know how to study, and then also if you can manage your time effectively and be efficient at what you're doing when you're doing it, again, that's a skill you'll learn throughout grad school and as you evolve and maintain your own project, but those are two really important things. All right, next one. What is your favorite word? Uh, I have a couple favorites. It changes every once in a while. Uh, my favorite word I've been using more recently is kerfuffle. <laughs> so when things don't quite go to plan, it's like, okay, that's a little bit of a kerfuffle, but we'll just keep going with it. Next one. What advancements do you see on the horizon for your discipline? Well, getting into the second part of my project, the sex differences in human neutrophils, um, using sex as a biological variable in immunology is surprisingly only recently coming to fruition. So I recently gave a talk at a conference where I discussed my research and the sex differences I observe and it was really rewarding to see these established, amazing superstars in the field kind of sit in their chair and go, oh, why haven't I been doing this? So I am hopeful uh, that in the coming years, more and more immunologists, immunology papers, and not just immunology, but I'm really hopeful that more in my field will actually consider sex as a biological variable, if only to confirm that there's no difference. Okay. What has been a memorable experience at Texas A&M? Okay. So, Everyone always talks about the football games. And of course, football games are awesome. No judgment there, but I would be wrong to not say my most memorable experience at Texas A&M was getting married under the century tree on campus. So that, that's been wonderful. And I love my husband. It was very much a last minute thing due to COVID interrupting all of our wedding plans, but we, made it happen, it was beautiful, it was incredibly hot, <laughs> but so worthwhile. And so I'm so happy to have those memories to hold on to. And I know Texas A&M will have a special place in my heart because of it. All right, next question. So what is one thing people would be surprised to know about you? <sighs> so. Historically, the thing people have most 
been surprised to know about me is that I earned my black belt in Taekwondo at the age of 10. At the time, I was the only woman and youngest woman black belt. Obviously, if you're the only, you're also the youngest uh, for the next year until more women had achieved black belt status. So that was my go-to. Um, but with COVID, <laughs> the other surprising fact about me is that I have married my husband three times in two weeks. So that way we could have very small ceremonies and not risk spreading COVID to our family members, some of whom are immune compromised. So I've always, I've almost been married as many times as a Kardashian, I think. What characteristic do you prize most in a colleague? I love my lab mates. I'd say the characteristics I really value in them and why we get along so well is that they are curious. They are always wanting to push boundaries of what the research is telling them. They ask questions if they're new and they're not sure how our lab does things. I love it when they do that, if only because it means you recognize that you may not know everything and that there are many different ways to do the same task successfully. And so them being curious, doing well, asking questions, and willing to engage. Sometimes the most helpful part of a lab is when you get a result that you weren't expecting. You're like, why could this be? And sometimes you just need to talk it out with someone. And my lab mates are great sounding boards for that because they'll come with, to them with data and be like, I'm seeing this and I think this means this, but I've also been reading papers on this thing and I think that may tie into it and they'll be able to kind of take that information or take their own literature that they've read and kind of help me figure out what I may be seeing, what that means. So that's been really helpful. All right. Why did you decide to pursue your graduate studies with the Department of Biology at Texas A&M? That was pretty easy. I had been to interviews at other universities and in talking with the graduate students there, they were very drawn, they were stressed, they were anxious, they were competitive with each other. Um, all in all, it felt like a very negative environment. And when I came to interview at Texas A&M, I found graduate students talking to each other, laughing, the faculty were talking, and they, you know, they seem to show just this excellent environment and emphasis on developing a community of support for graduate students, not just within your own lab, but in fostering these relationships across graduate students throughout the department. So they were doing department events and seminars and dinners and movie nights. And yes, those are all really fun things, but really what they emphasize is giving grad students an opportunity to kind of let their hair down, <laughs> get away from the lab, get away from your lab mates, and just enjoy the environment you're in. Maybe other labs have different ways of doing things. Maybe they have a better idea for the experiment you need to do. Sometimes I've found reagents that I can then use or for experiments because other labs have used them and be like, oh yeah, I've done that and it's been really successful. You know, come talk to me if you have any questions about it. So that sort of community oriented environment was really important to me and that support because going into grad school is a very stressful time and I knew I needed that supportive environment. 